Today in this quick answer, Daniel Rukowski asked if they could do a smoke transition between two pieces of video, and absolutely you can, and for free. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to start by opening up the HitFilm Express, which is the free video editor from FX Home. And we uh, once we get it open here, we are going to create a new project. And I'm going to do 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 at 30 uh, frames per second. If you're in Europe, you'll probably be using 25. And now we have our uh, new uh, session here ready to go. So the first thing we're going to need is a couple of videos to uh, transition between and also a smoke effect. And so we come over here to videos and I've got uh, two moon videos and our smoke video and the exact link to this particular smoke video which is downloadable uh, for free uh, is in the uh, description down below so I'm going to select all of these and click open I'm just going to think about it for just a second and now we have our two uh, uh, video clips here that we're going to transition between and our smoke effect over here so let's go ahead and I'm going to drag the uh, first video to the timeline and it's going to ask me that this uh, video does not match our current timeline. Uh, so uh, do I want to make the our video that I'm making match this video? And uh, no, I really don't. Uh, so I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to bring in my next video clip. And I'm going to put it at the end of this one. You notice it, it snaps if you get close, which is really nice. And there we go. So if I kind of scrub through here, we've got moon and then far away moon. Okay, so we're just going to do our transition between these two. Now to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our smoke over here and we're going to put it above these two uh, video clips. And let's uh, kind of see how that looks. Uh, so we kind of scroll back here and uh, press play. So we got this, uh, this moon and then we have this smoke. Which takes uh, like a really long time. And then eventually we come back over here, we can scrub through, oh, and there's the other one. Well, that didn't really work because uh, we can't see through the smoke. Also, the smoke takes way too long to be a transition. So we need to fix both of those problems. Uh, the first one is easy to fix. How do we make this black background smoke uh, transparent? Well, that's real easy. We're gonna come over here to effects and we're gonna look for demult, D-E-M-U-L-T. And here is our demult effect, and we're just going to drag and drop it right onto this smoke effect. And as soon as we do, you notice that it's kind of turned transparent. And so we go, whoop, so we're getting really close here. Again, our smoke go, goes on way too long, though, for a transition. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do something called the Rate Stretch Tool. And it's this little uh, kind of squiggly looking line right over here. We're going to select that. And if I come over to the side of the video, I can actually hold down my left mouse button. It's going to turn that little bracket. And I can kind of squeeze this video in. And when I do, it's going to make the video play faster than it did before. There we go. So we really didn't accomplish our transition yet, but at least we got this kind of trimmed down so it's a little more reasonable. I might even uh, use the rate stretch tool to shorten that up even a little bit more. Uh, try and get it, there we go, make it more like a transition. So uh, now let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this little uh, bar down here and it has a little dot and I'm going to drag this to the right. And what that's going to do is going to kind of zoom in on my video because I need to kind of work in detail here so we need to get that done. Uh, and I'm going to kind of move this clip over here and if we kind of go through this smoke effect notice what happens is it comes in really quickly and then we reach a point right, uh, right at the beginning that it pretty much fills up uh, the screen right about there actually so what we need is we need uh, to move this section where it pretty much fills in everything right to where these two video clips combine so we go over here and it's going to take this and then it's going to kind of drag it forward a little bit until we kind of get this really full smoke effect here a little bit farther that may be too far let's back it up a little bit it's just right at the beginning well, that's looking pretty good so let's let's see how this looks here so we got our zoomed in moon and then we do our transition 
Again, that's kind of kind of long, so I'm going to use that rate stretch tool one more time. We're going to trim that down, something a little, a little bit faster. We're just making this uh, smoke effect faster and faster, basically. Let's look at it one more time. Oh, not too bad. Since we moved the rate stretch tool, we uh, have to readjust our clip because uh, the part that has the most smoke has moved because we made this clip shorter. So that's looking about right. There we go. Now we got it. And that's our final effect. Uh, so basically we use the rate stretch tool to make this smoke effect run faster. It's kind of like a high speed video. If this was a car chase, you see it zooming around really quick. Uh, and we positioned it with the demult effect right above our two clips. And so that creates our transition. And now that we have it done, we can just copy this. You can right click and you can go to copy. And then I could paste it further down the timeline if we had other videos that I wanted to add and create a transition for. But that's the uh, basics of the effect. I certainly hope you enjoyed this uh, quick answer and I'll talk to you guys uh, later on with another video.